Amon Green, and then the quarterback you've all been waiting for. So there will be a brief Q&A session following the speakers, and then you can have one-on-one -on -one media following that, and then we'll have some fan autographs. So let me introduce General Manager Rick Mueller. Thanks, Kat. I kind of feel like it's the first day of school and everybody's afraid to sit in the front row except for Marisol. But uh, appreciate you coming out tonight again. It's good to see you. Thanks to Harris for everything. Don Igo, where's Don at? Don did a great job putting this together. We appreciate you guys. It's always a pretty good show in Omaha. I mean, uh, from the uh, first time I'm on and I walked into that ballroom of champions, you know, uh, I knew this was going to be a pretty special place. And obviously, again, you kind of proved that. Um, so. We've been pretty busy, as you can see, um, putting this roster together. We're still tweaking it as we go, but the majority of guys are here and ready to go, and we're really looking forward to getting the field, and coaching staff's excited about it, and they've done a good job. And, you know, I've told you this before, but when we started this team, we wanted to start, first of all, with the right coach, and, and uh, so far over the last four or five months that Jeff and I have spent together, I know we hired the right guy. And, uh, so let me introduce him, the guy that's going to take you to Rosenblatt, hopefully at the end of November, Jeff Jagosinski, the head coach. Thanks, Rick. Uh, when I first had an opportunity to talk to Rick about uh, going to Omaha, coaching football, I thought, what a great opportunity, because I know what kind of fans they're going to have here, what kind of support, and again, we're showing it. Uh, I'm going to introduce a guy here that I had the opportunity to coach in Green Bay. He's an all-time leading rusher in Green Bay history. And now we got him here to be able to run here with the silver and black. Omaha's own Amon Green. Thanks, Coach Jack. So great. Again, I'd like to thank the fans for embracing our team, myself here to Omaha. You know, it's been, you know, for me, once I found out the team was going to come to, it was pretty much a no-brainer. It's in my hometown where I, play, you know, where I play high school ball, where I play college ball, and where I grew up. So for me, it wasn't a hard decision at all. And uh, since the mini camp, you know, I've just been, you know, just raring at the time, basically of today, to get into meetings, get into the playbook, you know, get strapped the helmet back on. So, you know, I'm very excited, but, you know, like one thing in the back of my head, basically, is going, you know, who's going to be having me the ball, who's going to be throwing me screen passes, and things of that nature. So, you know, when uh, I got an early phone call, you know, a couple of weeks ago that the possibility of bringing the guy who I'm about to introduce, you know, to the team was, you know, I'm like, hey, if we get him, then I, I, it's a lot, a lot of worry off my mind, you know, in the next couple of weeks of coming for this season. And I was just telling you know, the guy I'm about to introduce, um, I saw him on Pros vs. Joes, and my man was bringing a hat. You know, he's a quarterback, and he got his opportunity to hit people, and I loved what I saw. So, just like I see him play, you know, in the NFL for the 49ers, the Eagles, the Buccaneers, um, very intense guy, a guy that just by, you know, seeing him play, he's a team player, he wants, he wants to go out there and win. Um, our new quarterback for the Omaha Nighthawks, Jeff Garcia. Don't let the age fool you. 
I can still bring it. And, uh, and just like I have uh, just great appreciation for how Mon has played the game himself, we do this because of our passion for the game. We do this because of the chemistry and the camaraderie of our teammates, the locker room environment, the opportunity to go out and, and really come together as a team and accomplish great things together on the field. And uh, I wouldn't be here if I didn't still have that passion. I've been fortunate to have had a blessed career and uh, it didn't just come handed to me. I worked every single day for that, and uh, I know how to appreciate that, but I know that I'm not done, and that's why I'm here right now, because I have so much to give, and I want to give it to this team, to this city, and just create just such a great atmosphere and environment, and I thank you for giving me the opportunity to be here and do that. Thank you.